Hi, welcome to Selenium Automation Testing Tutorial. Okay, today we are going to learn how to generate HTML reports with the help of Selenium WebDriver. Okay, and uh, what is the prerequisite before creating your uh, Selenium script? Okay, so how, how you can uh, create your HTML reports with the help of Selenium? Okay, first of all. Selenium jars, this one already you know, Selenium from download from Selenium hq.org site and uh, you need to download extend report. Okay, An extend reports jar. Okay, I will show you. And uh, here you need to download, no, you need to add test ng library. Okay. So these are the main requisite, prerequisite which are required to generate HTML reports. Okay, let's see each one uh, step by step. Okay, so already we have downloaded Selenium and uh, configured in build path. Okay, this you have to, you have to add from add external jars. Okay, this uh, go to whatever the file you have downloaded Selenium 2.4, 2.482. Just add these two as well as add this already all these libs into this external libraries okay same as i need to add same uh, external report java okay so where you have to download that one just go to uh, install just uh, open your google and uh, enter download extend report jar just go to here download from here okay see java version 3.3 is here already released latest release okay you can download and generate file this like this it will generate the report dashboard so let's see how to configure your extend report to generate html reports okay so you have created public web driver driver okay and imported this selenium web driver so same thing you have to configure that build path okay i have already told you from external jars to extract those extend reports and go to lib folder and add this you have to add this one also okay just click on ok and create one class file see i have created public void driver i have declared with access modifier public and extend reports extend i want to use this extend here public extend test as a test okay i have created this one object so this you have to write extend equal to new extend reports why because in which folder you want to generate html file so i have created see this one i have taken you see here extend equal to you know extend record See reports I have taken as a boolean replace existing. So in our, if you are writing true boolean as a then it will replace existing test file. See if you refresh this one already have run one test. This result HTML is already generated. If you see time here 8.35 pm if, we, if I run this one the script already it will one more generate test result html file and it will replace this existing that's why i am giving true here i am giving as a true okay if i just you don't have to create this as test result html file okay it will automatically create this test result html what is the name you have given it will automatically create in that folder okay so remove this one this, this is my Selenium automation testing blocks okay i have given as a base url see when i'm using test if you want to initialize your test okay, just enter test equal to extend dot start test it will see see if you see here extend dot start test it is given as a you can give as a test name as well as you can provide test what is the test name string you have given that description you can also provide it from here click here see calling start test generate the toggle for the test in html file okay 
I have given uh, taken only start test with string name. Okay. See, I have given test dot log, which is a log status dot info. See, if you open this one, test dot log. Okay. See, it is having different log status, log status, string details. Okay. What are the string I have given? Open browser. Test is initiated. Next one is a log status status throwable t. So what is the if it is any error is occurring? Log C event for the test. Log event is shown in the report with three columns: timestamp, status, and details. See if you go here, what it is showing? String step name, string details. It is giving as a log event is shown in the report with four columns: timestamp, status, step name, details. I am using this simple one. I want to show. Timestamp, the status, and the details. Okay. So if you last one is to show, showing as a timestamp, status, step name, details. Okay. If it is having any exception, see if you want to display exception, you can use this one. Okay. Like this. If you write this one, log status dot. So it is showing error, failed, fatal, info, pass, skip. and no warning see different different log status it is giving okay so i am using info why because first of all it is initiating the web driver then it is opening the browser then after that only it will open your uh, url what is the url you are using okay for testing so i am using firefox driver so maximize window okay See, I am giving log status as a password. Browser is open and window is maximized. Okay, once browser is open, next step is driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Okay, that's why I have given as a log status is pass. Okay, if you can mention if condition if you want. See, I am using get base URL. Log status is a pass. String URL is open in Firefox browser. Okay, see. Once you are creating any test like this, you have to close end your test. Okay, with the name of test, I am given with the name of test. Okay, I am using extend that flush. Why I am using extend that flush means? So if I am using extend that flush, it will write each and every test data. What is the log and what is the Extend that start test. Everything will be written into this test result dot HTML file. If you are forgot to give in this extend that flush option, it will not return that execution data into this test result dot HTML file. Okay. Please take care of this one. You need to close the test and you need to write this one flush. It will write what is the data. Whatever test regarding extend reports, everything will be written into test result dot HTML file. So you have created one test case, which is a verify home page. Same thing will be written. X test equal to extend dot start test verify home screen. Okay. Here I am giving actual result. If you see here, learn Selenium automation testing. Okay. Learn Selenium automation testing. Actual and expected is driver done get title. I'm writing as test dot log. What is the info I'm using? Sorry, verifying home page. Okay, verifying home page. Expected dot equals actual. See what is the expected? It is giving from the URL from page title with the help of driver done get title. That data should be equal, should be match with actual whatever data you learn Selenium automation testing. Those page titles should be match. So that's why I'm using if if condition. Test dot log. If it is given the equal conditions passing, then it will pass home pages open successfully. Otherwise, and mention into else, mention into the else statement. Test dot log. It is a fail. Home page is not able to open. Okay. So I have written system dot out of interline. Okay. This for a 
checking in if you want to check into in this console okay so i am closing the script test and uh, closing with the help of flush in order to write the data into test result.html file okay i am using test engine okay i'm just you have to just let me close so just go to here run as test engine test i'm giving pass status i will show you the failed status also it will open the firefox browser and it will maximize the window and it will enter the url it will load see here if you see here console system home page is open successfully you pass to verify home so what are the data we are showing seeing here this should be displaying in your report generator report just refresh see time is 8:49 previously time is 8:35 right just click on this open see open verify open browse here start time end time and how much it is displaying details okay see each and every step it is giving open browser test is initial this one means info info this one is pass okay okay if you see here it will display here how many pass info is to pass is 3 100% result start time and end time okay you can see as 11 second 91 910 milliseconds you can do as performance testing you can mention this on total time taken current time okay which is starting from 09 seconds to 21 seconds means how much it, it will time taken just uh, 12 seconds sorry 0.012 seconds it is has taken okay our minute and second sorry 12 seconds it has taken okay if you want to display from here you can display you can see everything here and you can see test here okay let's go to here you can see everything you can change this background color so if, let me run for failure okay let me run for failure okay let me run for failure means just giving s yes, normal like string character am i adding let me run this one it will give you fail okay run as test ng test Will open the Firefox browser. Enter URL. Maximize. Now open your report. See, time has changed, right? It is replacing. Let's close. Close. See, it is giving as a failed status. Home page is not able to open. Why? Because I have given wrong actual ID, actual uh, string, expected title, testings. Okay. So like this, you have to write your script using extend reports, which is a very helpful in your test script. Next lesson, we will see how to take the screenshot and attach into in this report. Whatever report I am using here, you can attach step your uh, screenshot. Okay. In particular, any particular. step you can use okay thank you thank you for using please subscribe my channel so please provide your comments on this post and like in case you like my video if it is useful please share with different different social media okay thank you thank you for watching my video